Yes, you're gonna need your font, whatever color you have. Today I'm using the light pink. This is pastel, really, really light pink. And here I've got two pieces of wax paper. Now what you wanna do is you wanna just take some equal, almost equal pieces of fondant, just like this. You just wanna tear it out of the fondant ball, just like that. Just cut pieces. Now the pieces you want to cut depends on the size of your rose. If you want it to be big, you want to cut obviously more. And if you want it to be small, you can cut less. Here I'm going to do it in a medium size. I'm going to cut more, just a bit more. Okay, that's enough. Okay guys, now after you cut each, like the pieces here, you want to take each piece between your hands and form it into a bowl, just like this. Super easy. Just like that, it doesn't even have to be fully perfect. Just like that. Shape it into a ball. And place it here. I'm gonna do the, all of them, then I'm gonna continue by showing you how to make this. Okay guys, now that we have formed these into balls, they're not even perfect. I'm just gonna take each ball, just like this, one at a time. You place it here on your wax paper. Then you want to fold your wax paper to meet the top of it. Just like this. And then you squish it down. As you can see here, how it looks like. Now what you want to do is by the tip of the fondant right here, you want to use your finger and make it much, much thinner. Just the first tip of it. It's going to be really thin. You want to push quite hard on it. Then you open it just like that. And here you've got one petal that has a very, very thin top. Now what you want to do by the first one is you want to roll it just like this. Keep on rolling. And that's the first petal of the rose. Okay guys, so that's the first petal as you can see. Now let's do more. I'm gonna show you a close-up. As said, you fold it in half, you squish it down just like this, you take the tip and you just wanna make it thinner. Just by using your fingers like this and reopen it. As you can see, it's thin at the top, then you take the first one that you made and you want to roll it on it just like this. And here's the more, it's forming a rose. Okay, so I'm gonna continue by making these. As said, now faster, just squish it down and the upper side make it thinner. Open it up just like this and place it here. Okay guys, so I basically continued by making these petals just by squishing them down and thinning out the tops of each. Now that we have the first this one formed. I'm just gonna continue adding the petals in. What you also can do is just like curve it just like this to make it more realistic. Then you take more just like that. You can also squish it to look like that and keep on adding more petals to it. And starting to form and be the shape of a real rose which is really beautiful as you can see. Continue adding more petals to it just like that and add more this is the last one and here is the rose